Welcome to another exciting episode of Unleashing Your Potential with myself, Coach Toriso. The show that focuses on enhancing your way of living and unleashing your potential. And today is that another day where we are at the marriage corner. We are talking relationship stuff. We are talking marriage stuff. And we are talking about is love enough to sustain marriage? I know you've been asking yourself that question here. Yeah. So join me as I have guests here, as I've got two amazing speakers and coaches here in the building. Uh, let me ask my lady to introduce herself. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Teresa, for such a warm welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ruzani Rapuru, Coach Ruzani R from Marriage by God's Design. Uh, Marriage by God's Design is an institution uh, led by myself and my husband, which is focused on build, uh, building healthy, successful and winning marriages. We really believe that marriage can, can still win in this day and age where, you know, so much is said about love, about relationships. Uh, we are really winning and would like to, uh, you know, share our knowledge every time uh, you know we get that opportunity we really trust god and we believe that marriage does work when it's based on the word of god so um i'm so happy and excited uh, professionally i'm an ict manager i'm in it okay um also but you know by purpose i'm a life coach uh, and nlp practitioner nice. I believe that, you know, people can win if really they think right, they see things, you know, mm. differently, they think big. There's always, always, always an opportunity, you know, for someone to win out there. That's so true. what we also do, we do marriage counseling. We host marriage seminars under Marriage by God's Design, which is aimed at encouraging couples to continue to build very healthy and strong homes. Lovely. So that's who I am. Okay, nice, Thank nice. You. Yes, sir. <laughs> Coach And uh, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. My wife and I, oh, I'm a husband to one wife. Thank you. Let me make it that very clear. <laughs> and we are blessed with many children. Many. And uh, we also have a ministry called The Love Talk. And that is where we also focus on building love for individuals and for couples. And uh, we bless the Lord that he has trusted us with this entity called marriage. Wow. So this is something that we are enjoying. And we've been married. This is our 12th year oh, now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're saying we keep going because yeah. Humanat. Humanat. I love that. <laughs> I love that. But then now, have you been a love doctor? Have you always loved love? Have you always uh, wanted to be married? Or how did you come to where you are currently? Uh, look, I'm one of those guys, Olohore, when I was growing up, I said to myself, by the age of 25, mm. I have to be married. Okay. I don't know what got into me, because at that time, you know, you're thinking you're matured, you've got it all together, but life itself has got its own purpose as well. Yeah. So having to try and align myself to that process, yalerato, you know, getting to know and understand myself mm. in it, and I realized that, you know what, the purpose purpose itself, the intention itself is good, but there is still that element of growth that one needs as a person. Mm -hmm. So I had to go through that. I had to experience heartache and pains and disappointments. I'm one of those guys, Olohore, I was always rejected, you know, when oh. I was growing up, okay. you know, and I always questioned, perhaps this is where my purpose is, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I have to gain that confidence yeah. in this rejection. Yeah. And when I got to a point whereby God made it clear to me as to what I'm called for, yeah. then I realized that indeed, this is my purpose. Oh, and okay. that is why I bless the Lord that even to this day, my heart is yeah. still drawn to the things of love. Oh, wow, so, nice. yes. Yes. So now, did you experience love from home or is something that you actually learned outside? To be honest with you, I can say a bit of both. Okay. You know, at, at home we are raised by different parents. I was raised by totally different parents. Okay. Um, my mother is somebody who never knew how to show us love. Uh -huh. With her, her kind of love was to discipline. Yes. Whereas my dad on the other side, her kind of love is that guy who was very, very subtle. He was very uh, silent. Really? You know, he will talk to you. Bona, I don't know 
that guy's voice like when it's high there okay. i've never heard it and okay. even to this date where as a man we are best of friends oh, wow. so nice. as you grow and you try and understand as to i was raised in a different home you know in a different setup by yeah. two different um parents, parents yeah. mm -hmm. but they still you know uh, connected well together mm -hmm. you know now that I'm, I'm 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 a man i would ask my dad and say but how do you handle this woman you know and he's a man of few words he will just say ah, mama huwa mm. and that is just how he is but i understood that his way of loving it's exactly what my mother needed and most importantly it's exactly what i needed so i can learn the balance between you know uh, this type of love that i thought yeah. hey yeah. this one is abusive yeah, strong. Well, it's, it's strong is, uh, you know and then whereas the other one mm. is actually a soft love nice. and mm. me growing in that kind of an environment has actually taught me that hey sometimes we do need mm -hmm. that kind okay. of balance okay so you're a bit of a softy hey? <laughs> <laughs> in a way my lady <laughs> how was your upbringing like how did you get to where you are today for me it's quite quite interesting i actually uh, found my purpose after i got saved after God saved, I had this big question always day in, day out in my mind. Mm. What is my life all about? Who am I? Where am I going? And, you know, the more I discovered myself, I realized that I love marriages and I believe that uh, marriage can work. Okay. And, you know, based on my background, uh, my, I, I, I still have my... My, my mom and my dad are still alive. Nice. Uh, they've been married for 48 years now. Wow, that's beautiful. And um, I believe that the way they modeled marriage to me, it's something that continues to inspire me even today. Nice. So when I looked at their journey and I looked at my life and I realized that, you know what, I'd like to display mm. a beautiful picture of marriage. So that desire started when I found myself that, you know, if I am to leave, I realize that I'm an encourager. I'm somebody who brings hope in people's lives. Yeah. And I had to find ways. How do I do it at a larger scale yeah. to a point where it changes families, it changes communities, it changes the world mm. that we are living in. And, you know, as I continue to, 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 to find out how can I go about this, I had to pray as a young girl while I was still single yeah. and said to God, God, help me to find, to be found by a man who's God-fearing, a man who's purpose-driven, mm -hmm. and I want to be in a marriage that will serve its purpose, nice. not just exist. That's because serving, the yeah. more you get to know God is the more you realize that everything that God blesses you with it's not just for you, mm. but he has a bigger picture in mind. Mm. So I realized that God can use this tool, this institution called marriage, right, yeah. to advance his kingdom. Because you look at the world that we are living in, and I realized that marriage, mm. family, is that perfect space yeah. where God can work sure. in these two people yeah. and actually raise a generation that will be able to continue to advance the kingdom of God. So when I got married to my husband, mm. I prayed, uh, Tori, so I waited like any young girl, <laughs> You know, those sleepless nights yeah. where you are crying to God yeah. and saying, God, where's my one? Where, where is my one? Where is Mr. Mama? Where, where, where is Mr. Mama <laughs> who will be able yeah. to carry this burden that is in my heart with? Wow. Where we will be able to serve you wholeheartedly mm -hmm. and serve this world that we are living in. So when um, I met my husband, Let's let's talk mm. about that mm -hmm. after the break when okay. you met your husband because I'm much more interested in that because it might be helping somebody out there. Mm -hmm. They want to know how did you know is the one. Yeah. So we are talking about is love enough to sustain my marriage? And for mm. now the coaches are introducing themselves and they're saying marriage is beautiful. Marriage is beautiful. We'll see you after the break.